It's hot. Yeah, it is. It's hotter than Big B's nuts. I don't know about that. They're spicy. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Sweaty. I'm sweaty. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. What's up, Corbin? What's up, people? Um, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Forge, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, Forge, Instagram, Twitter, Forge, Instagram, Twitter, Forge, Instagram, Whoa. Wow, it's trailing. Hey, you moved the butt plant. Because I touched it, and she's like, nobody needs to touch my butt plant. Because it stays up there. Yeah. Is that where it's supposed to be, and it was just down because it was like getting watered? No, she moves plants all the time. Oh, no, she just wanted to touch the butt. <laughs> just like in Finding Nemo. I don't know if you know what we're referring to. Uh, today we're doing a movie review. It's actually our Patreon request of the month. Uh, Blame it on Patreon. Uh, it's the Tamil film Nyakon, uh, the 1980s... Nyakon, right? Am I saying it wrong? That was... Yeah, Nyakon. Nyakon. Mm -hmm. Nyakon. Yeah. Okay. No, that was right. I thought I was saying it. <laughs> Make me question. Um... Uh, 1987 film uh, directed by Mani Ratnam. Who? And we've watched a Mani Ratnam film before? We've never seen anything uh, he's ever done. Uh, composed by Raja Sir. Who? Uh, no, he's, he's done a few never things. Never heard any of his music. Uh, <laughs> starring Kamal Hassan. Who? No, he's done, yeah, he's done, done very little. Barely done very, anything. Very, very little. Very, very little. In an unknown film. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a 100% spoiler review. It came out in 1987. Yeah. Uh, the only time we do non-spoilers is if something just came out. Uh, so, uh, if you haven't watched it, go watch it and come back, or else you're going to be spoiled like the little naughty boy that you are. Or girl, or ginger not complaining. Whatever. <laughs> Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Okay, load, uh, uh, how do I begin? The reason I begin the way I begin is... How do I um, count the ways? Exactly, how do I count the ways? When you hear things before you've seen a film, like, greatest film in... Indian cinematic history, mm. greatest performance by any actor in Indian history, a masterpiece for the ages and things of that nature. It always leaves me with a sense of, mm, because if I feel like if I don't walk away saying that, mm. especially with a fan base that has been particularly kind to me, um, but I'll never cease to be honest. So. Bring on the hate, folks, and tell me how stupid I am. Because I just, I found it to be okay. I didn't, mm. it, I didn't love it. Um, I, I, trust me, when I say it's okay, I'm not saying I dislike it. I have a lot of things that I can say about it that I think are good and meritorious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But as far as a takeaway, it did not live up to everything I had heard about it. And, yeah. and in the same way that, like... Um, I don't, I'm not saying this is a comparable film or even comparable in terms of its place in cinematic history for the country. Yeah. How do you feel about Titanic? I don't like Titanic. Right. And how many people consider Titanic to be one of the greatest motion pictures ever made in American history? A bunch of dumb people. Yes, there you go. <laughs> but you don't like Titanic. See? I do not. So for me, I have a lot of things I'm going to talk about that I, I liked about it, but I'm not going to be jumping up and down the way I think everybody gotcha. is hoping I would. Yeah, yeah. So I actually uh, agree. I thought it was a good film. I did also hear those things before, and I, it's probably not fair to the film, honestly. Truly. Uh, it's, it's not fair to the film, because I, I, obviously we've heard about Kamal Hassan for so long, and all I've heard is, this is a great film, Kamal Hassan's best performance ever. Right. Like, and is... I'll, although, I'm, I'm not, I thought he had a good performance, and yes. I thought the film was good. Yes. Um, but did it live up to the, the greatness? I don't, for me, no. Um, it probably, it's mid-range for me if, in terms of Money Rottenham's films. I absolutely agree. I would, I would still take Bombay, yes. Roja, and yes. I probably wouldn't take Roja over, No, no, no. Uh, I, I actually, I actually would. But, and then obviously... As far as my, my wanting to go back and watch it again? And then, um, obviously Tharapathy, I think is, uh, I, I would put that above it as well. So it would probably fall mid-range. I'd put it above Del Say, and I'd put it above, uh, Guru. And I think there's another one we saw that I can't remember. Yeah, it I would, it's absolutely for me, I think it's above Del Say and it, Guru. I think it's mid-range for me. And but, I, yeah. um, that's not taking anything away from it. I think, I think the biggest thing was just... When you hear stuff like, I'm sure there's people that can watch, honestly, films like The Godfather now, and the fact that it's so blown out of proportion, even though that is a great film, there's, if there's, if you hear something so much, especially of an older film, correct, because there's dated stuff in older films, right, 
it's never going to live up to like people think people hate star wars and we think those right. films are absolutely masterpieces <laughs> <laughs> but if you didn't grow up with it right you're gonna have a different perspective right all that being said I think it was a good film. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it just didn't hit the greatness level that I was hoping it would for me. Yeah. But let's get into it. Yeah. I thought Kamal San actually put on a very good performance. Very good uh, performance. There, there was something, there was some parts of it that I personally, if I was the director or the, or the actor himself, I probably would have done differently mm -hmm. to not be compared to certain characters. Yeah. Uh, even though, no one's on preface this again. I don't think he was doing an impression of anybody. No, nor do I think. I've heard some people who compared this and said that it's like a copy of The Godfather. No, no, it's in the not stories. at all. That's an that's actually kind of insulting to the film. Yeah, no. because I think it's that's like saying The Goodfellas is a copy of The Godfather. Yeah, I mean, no, it's, it's a gangster film, it's so gangster film. it will be compared. Right. Um, just like uh, which is probably one of the issues I took with this performance is that even though it was a, a good might be the best performance we've seen even though we've only seen like three films of his right it's not really fair um, true. but like if you did a boxing film like Tufan and then he comes out it's going to be compared to Rocky but if you like did a voice like hey yeah if you said hey yo yeah you're going to be like you're it's unfair to you which is why if you do like a remake of a character they always say go the complete opposite direction Joaquin Phoenix because it will not it won't be fair to you because you will be compared regardless still to that person. Yeah, and it's, it's even, uh, it's also a matter of just choosing to go into a direction where you recognize the incarnation. And that's why I said Joaquin Phoenix. When I was so happy, as were you, and we found out he was doing it. Because we know about him as an actor. That he's not the kind of actor who's going to do anything that's inspired by or a copy of. Yeah. He's going to go deep within himself and find what this character is within the script and he's going to give you something that you've never seen before. Yeah. Which great actors do. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So what I'm talking about with this, even though, like I said, I think this is a very good performance by Kamal Hassan. It's just, there are certain things direct, I don't know if it was director or if it was him himself, even though I read, he did try to do a bunch of stuff differently uh, in terms of like the way he carried himself because mm -hmm. of... The you can Brando. see the work he put in. Yeah, and uh, I, once again, I don't think he was copying, but the fact that they gave him this kind of, when he got older, gnarled voice. It, it was, there was a segment then, of the the aged part yeah. where it started to lean so heavily toward an affectation mm -hmm. that I, I agree with you. I was like, I would have I would have told him or either, the, I don't know if the director told him to or not. Uh, I would have, me personally said, just just do something different. Because it's going to be unfair to you. Because somebody's going to see this gangster role and be like, he's trying to do... Well, and him. probably not. Uh, you can you can do those kind of things when you have an audience that the predominant amount of them maybe haven't seen The Godfather. Right? right? So yeah. the, that the might audience been, for this, might their not. thought might have been... And we may see this something similar, for example, and I'm not saying this is a comparable actor, so don't get your panties in an uproar, but when we see the remake of Forrest Gump, I don't know how much of... I'm hoping Amir Khan doesn't take any of... Any of what? Yeah, that Tom would have. The, I'd probably have the same issue. The same issue. Yeah, I don't want to see Tom Hanks's Forrest Gump. Yeah. I want to see Amir Khan's Forrest Gump. Yeah, um, and I did think that for the most part he was good. There weren't points again the hype we had heard where I was anticipating some moments as an actor where I was going to be so drawn and captivated by it that it was going to be spellbinding. Mm. And it did. It just it, it didn't reach the level of being a spellbinding performance for yeah. me that I, I was anticipating. And I do I do the one thing I do almost feel a defensiveness about is this film people should not say that this is a copy of the godfather we do know that this is specifically inspired by a real life man whose man. name i'm not going to pronounce appropriately yeah but an actual uh mobster but when you when you read about his life this is one of the things that uh, i in the story would have loved to have seen i saw this about uh him and again his that he had among the many things he did, he used the slums in uh, as a safe haven to expand his criminal activities in an underworld empire of extortion, kidnapping, contract killing, land encroachment, illegal gambling, and liquor dens. Um, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah. And I didn't, I, that's one of the things for him where I knew what he was doing with the docks, mm -hmm. but I didn't see a underworld empire that this guy no it's just that he was loved and because he took care of everybody right in the same way that uh, uh escobar is loved was loved yeah. in colombia 
Yeah, so that, that's probably one of the uh, other issues uh, is that I, they could have expanded it and made me, because it, it felt, because they covered a large part of his life. Right. Um, and it could have easily been done in two parts, so you could have cared for more characters more, uh, as opposed to like... Do it, like a Wasper 1 and 2 kind of yeah, thing? Cause it yeah, because it kind of jumped, and then you, they introduced characters, and then I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, I just, I didn't too much care about almost anyone, mm -hmm. uh, even though I was like, okay, this is good, I liked it. Nobody had really a bad performance. Everybody I thought did really well. Cinematography was really nice. It's just, I would have preferred them to take a little more time. Uh, Me too. So I could have cared more. I would have liked to have cared more as well, L like I did, and that's a great comparison, like I did to, for the characters in Gangs of Wasper. Yeah. Yeah, because I found myself, and granted that it's two parts, but it's one film, there were aspects of gangs uh, that, that, and I know many of you would say, well, there wouldn't be a Gangs of Wasper if it wasn't for this, and That's there's no be. denying that. Yeah. Um, however, the differentiation of the connectivity we had, and uh, granted, we are also outsiders who don't live in the culture, and that's a huge contributing factor to us connecting oftentimes with the story, but that's not an excuse, because as you know, we connect to a boatload of films, and it's not from our culture. I thought the score was really good. Rochester. I mean, yeah. I love the... Uh, Very memorable. The... the well, I, I don't know what it's called, but it's the theme. It's the theme. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, it's a very member... As memorable as... Like, if you hear that... If I hear that music, it's going to remind me of nothing but, but that film. Yeah. And that's what you want in the score. Yeah. With... Little touches throughout. I, I, I saw a review someone gave of the film who said wisely so, I don't remember who it was because I, I saw several reviews about the film um, getting different input from different people and said that it of, in and of itself is almost telling a secondary narrative throughout the story. And I, I agree, it's a complex score that for me is probably my favorite thing from the film. Yeah. Is the score. Yeah, I liked it. I love the song, the, the Holy Song, I thought was really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, I like that a lot. Uh, the, some of the supporting cast I thought did did really well. I enjoyed the the end part of the film, even though I, I saw it coming. Yeah, uh, I did too. I saw it coming, but I I liked that. I thought there was a lot of good moments. It was dated in a lot of areas, even though the quality of this video was a thousand yeah. percent better than we had in Talapa. <laughs> yeah, the quality of the film was better, even though it was older. Even though which, it was older, so they clearly didn't take care of the. The, the Thotopathy film, right. uh, which is really sad. Very sad. Um, but the, the quality of it, so I thought the cinematography of the whole thing was really, really nice. It was dated, and the fact that if, if I'm watching a gangster film, I want that violence. Mm -hmm. And this just, it didn't fulfill that need for me. And, uh, because and they, they, they would pan away most of the time. And probably due to budgetary or, or technical reasons, because they probably, he, it Monty all... Rottenham was probably like, I can't show it how I want to. It it's also just, could have been a set toward sensitivities because that's popped up quite but, a bit. But I even thought 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 about they had more of the more. violence. It did, and and they showed more of it. Yeah. And even though it's and maybe it's an older film and it's what they they could do then. He had more money. Don't know. Yeah, because uh, it does cost money to do it correctly. VFX is not a cheap thing to do. No, uh, nor, nor is good. Just like if you, if you need to have a bunch of squibs and have them go off the right way, that's also an investment you have to make. Yeah, you know, like the. In The Godfather, when Sonny gets... Sh well, if you haven't seen The Godfather, <laughs> I'm not going to... Yeah. There, there are, let's Go just, watch The Godfather. Let's just say there's moments where people get shot up and they had to use a lot of squibs. If you don't know what a squib is, it's a small explosive device that has fake blood in it that's sewn into the fabric of clothing so that it, you see the person getting shot up. Uh, another film that it's comparative to, and I understand the comparison as well, inspired by, and it's comparable to, and it's in the conversation, is Once Upon a Time in America. Did you see that film? Yeah. Yeah. So it really is, I understand it being in the conversation of great gangster films like Gangs, like Bombay, yeah. like uh, Godfather, Once Upon a Time in America, but the things that I had read about this being... Yeah, and you know. that, that was probably the biggest thing. It, it, you know, once again, it's not fair when a film is that hyped. You just, yeah. like, um, and it, it sometimes it does come to fruition. I mean, Gangs was very hyped. 
Gangs lived up to the hype. Well, you, but we saw the first one, and we, I, I think we liked it. But then the second one is the one that made you love it. Correct. You know, that's the entire film. So yeah. I guess that, <laughs> yeah. that makes sense. Um, but obviously, that's a lot. Shole new. lived up to the hype. Yeah, that's a lot newer as well. Yeah, and so it didn't have the dated aspect. Pedosin lived up to the hype. Pedosin. But it's but it doesn't always happen. And granted, we're talking about those films. They didn't have the kind of hype that. I can't you know, think of this, another this film. This had the, the hype of the film and Kamal's performance. Kamal's performance. Even though, once again, he had a good performance. Like I said, this might be the best performance I've seen from him. It's just I uh, I would maybe expecting even more. Yeah, because my walk away from this is, without question, you watch this film and what you recognize watching it is, that guy's a good actor. Yeah. That guy's solid. You don't walk away from it, what we were expecting, like you do when you see something like There Will Be Blood. Yeah or um, Gangs of New York, when you walk away and all you do afterwards is talk about, mm -hmm. what did I just watch Daniel Day-Lewis do? Yeah. It, it wasn't that experience for yeah. us. Clearly. And it, the, the cinematography, Money Rottenham, he's just, he's, he's a good filmmaker. Mm. There's no denying that Money Rottenham is a very good filmmaker. That would be my second favorite yeah. part, aside from the music, is the way he directed it in the cinematography. Yeah. Um, and I had to focus really hard, and I'm sure I missed a lot, because there was so much I was frustrated by because I'm like, what am I missing? What am I not getting? Because it wasn't living up to the hype. Mm -hmm. But um, I did watch. I think it was. Um, I don't. Again, I don't remember who pointed it out. But someone pointed out in one of the reviews how so many shots were done with frames within frames. Mm -hmm. So like you would get uh, him at a, in a window. I think that's one of the sequences when he looks down and they've told him that his son has died. Yeah. And you have it perfectly framed, and the way that Monty Rotman had the shot framed was so that the actual window and doorway was symmetrically framed within the frame. Mm -hmm. And that he does that consistently to convey the sense of, even though this man is living out this envisage of, uh, I, I, as long as it's ultimately making a good, it doesn't matter what you do, mm -hmm. but that that's actually not a freeing thing. He's imprisoned by that decision. Yeah. That was pretty pretty high level yeah. filmmaking. I liked his moments with his daughter. I liked his moments with uh, the kid at the end. I thought those were I like the, nice. the book ends of the kids is really yeah. nice in the film. The moral message of the film yeah, the, is great. The fact that he's like, I don't know if I'm a good or bad man. Yeah, that's, a, that's um, really great. And so, there's like I said, there's a lot to like. Um, it's just, it's one of those, I think it's one of those situations where a, a film might have been just overhyped and then it just, I know people are just going to take this as we didn't like it and that's just not the case. We both, I think, liked the film. Or, in, in or you didn't get it. Yeah. Or like, we, right, think, we think it's a good film. Yeah. Um, uh, I just, I would not put it even in, uh, I, I would, like I said, in terms of Monty Rotten, I'm just comparing him to himself. I probably, it's my fourth favorite of his. Yeah. I'd say. Uh, yeah, if someone were to ask me two things, the first one they were going to say, hey, I'm watching, uh, I want, I'm going to watch uh, Nyack and, and I've heard a lot of things about it, what do you think? My response would be, watch it, but please don't read all of the hype. Yeah. Don't expect the greatest motion picture you've ever experienced in your life. Yeah. Appreciate a well-made gangster film. Yeah. That's what I would tell them. The same thing with Monty Rotman. I would say, as far as a Monty Rotman film is concerned, for me... It may become your favorite, but for me, yeah. it's like you said at the outset. I absolutely agree. It would be upper mid-range for me in terms of my favorites of his. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, take that as you will. Yeah. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed the reel. I hope you covered everything uh, in it that, that uh, you wanted us to. I know sometimes with people, we forget stuff and people are like, you didn't talk about it. Of course. We're sorry. We, we tried like to. Like VJ Ross was yeah. probably in it. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but... Obviously, Monty Rottenham and Kamal Hassan have tons of more films. And I know uh, there were other actors in the film that we could have talked about, but we're also respectful of the time we spend. Yeah. And there's moments we spend talking about other aspects and the other aspects we can't because yeah. we're not going to be on here for 90 minutes talking about every single possible thing. I think our longest show is like 35 minutes, probably. I know, but probably that's... Probably on to Honda, and most of it's a rant. <laughs> <laughs>